we're going to review some of the basic statistical functions and other functions just within Excel. Um, and so we open up Excel and open up a blank workbook. Uh, and what I'll do is just create some data that we can work with. Okay, so I'll just say that this is an item and then this is our number associated with that item. And I'll come up with a list between uh, 1 and 10. Okay, so we'll just go up to 10 items and drag that down. You'll see it auto increment when you drag this little square in the bottom right. And then on the number on the, uh, on the right, let's just do this as R-A-N-D. And then open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Okay, and that's going to create a random number. And then when I double click this box, uh, when it turns to a black uh, you know, cross arrow there, I'm just going to drag, uh, double click that, uh, left click, and it fills down uh, to the same uh, number of rows as, my, as the one that's to the left of it. Okay, so I have my um, item and the number, and let's say I want to do just some basic uh, statistics on this. Okay, it's so just some uh, average, mean, max, min, uh, that, types of th that type of thing. So I'm going to do um, average, uh, and I'll do max and min. Um, let's say I want the standard deviation as well as... Um, Let's see, let's also do the summation, the summation here, okay? So we have average, max, min, standard deviation, and sum. And we can also take this random number here. If we want to, uh, let's say, just multiply by 100, we'll have a number between uh, 0 and 100, okay? So I just multiplied random times 100, and then we'll do the statistics on this now. So. Let's get the average, and we can use either the uh, so the mean. You'll see it doesn't auto-populate with any uh, function name there. Uh, if you have a hard time finding the function name, you can just select this little um, FX here, insert function. Um, and then you can look for some of the most recently used, for example. Or you, want, you can uh, type uh, to get a little bit of help here. Okay, so the mean value, let's see if that comes up with... Uh, with anything um, okay I think I saw average in there okay so you can find it um, you can find it through this insert function uh, help okay so I'll go ahead and just do uh, this the number okay so b2 to b b12 uh, okay and or you if it didn't get it quite right you can select it uh, yourself Okay, so I'll go to B11, and then click OK. Okay, so our average is 48.7. Um, and every time I update this sheet, um, for example, if I click Enter here, it's going to change all of the numbers. Now the average is 68. Okay, but um, with the random number generator, it's going to vary, but um, on average, it'll if you have enough numbers, it'll come out to about 50. Okay, so let's go max now. Uh, same thing as average. Uh, and then in this case, I'm going to just use my keyboard to select the region instead of the mouse. So I'm going to go to either the top or the bottom and then hold down the shift key. And if you click the down arrow, you'll see that it starts to increment that. Okay, or you can also hold the, sh the control key in addition to holding the shift key and then press down and it will select uh, the whole region. We'll go down to the next blank cell, just right above that. Okay, and then close the parentheses, and there you have your uh, maximum number. Okay, and let's go and do the minimum number as well. Okay, so here's the minimum number. And if you went too far, uh, you don't want to include the header, for example. Just hold the shift key down and then push the down key, down arrow, and uh, it'll take one off the top. Okay, and then close parentheses. And let's do the standard deviation as well. Okay, so we have the standard deviation um, and then the summation, summing all of these numbers up. Okay, and then uh, let's say I want to just count how many numbers there are. Um, I'll use the count function. Okay, and if I have something, um, 
let's say an X in here, for example, it isn't going to count that. Okay, so I can push uh, Control Z and undo that, and then I'm back to 10. So it only counts the numeric values, uh, not uh, the, the uh, non-numeric values or blanks in there. Okay, and then uh, I can get my average, for example. Um, here's another way to get the average. is going to be the summation uh, divided by the count. Okay, and then you can see that the average and this number um, are equal. Okay, so um, those are a few statistical uh, functions. Let's say we want to count the number of values that are below uh, a certain threshold. Okay, so um, let's say uh, we have, we don't want to just count all the numbers, but we want to count the number of values that are below 50. Okay, so count um, if less than 50. Okay, so in this case, we can use another function, which is count uh, if, and uh, what we'll do is we'll just select this region. Um, we'll select this region and then put a conditional statement after it. Okay, and in this case, we'll say less than 50, and then it will count it if it's less than 50. So in this case, we only had one, um, two, three values that were less than 50. So that came up with a value of three. If you need to expand this, just go ahead and double click on this. And uh, there you have some of the basic statistics, some of the built-in functions. Again, if you need to find something else for this, you can also go to this function value and then be able to uh, look up some of the other functions that are part of Excel.